Hello, Roy Kirkhoff here. This here is an image I took six, seven years ago in the town of Maastricht in Limburg in the south of the Netherlands, the, the city where I grew up near. Uh, this is, as you can see, a bike sitting against a fence next to the Basilica of St. Servatius, which is a basilica which was first built in the 11th century and then um, in several stages over 100 years or more. Uh, additions were added to it. Anyway, so what I would like to do is I would like to print this on regular inkjet paper and then color it with oil glazes that we are going to make ourselves using regular oil paint and impasto liquid after applying a coating. So I'm going to color it on this paper which is 192 GSM uh, which is uh, thick enough um, it's matte paper and I'm going to print it with my Canon IX6820. It's actually a uh, letter sized paper so we'll have some white borders around it because the aspect ratio of the photo is a little bit different but that's okay because we can tape it down on the borders. There we go. So first what we need to do is just a simple piece of cardboard. We're going to tape the photo on it. Very precise. <laughs> My daughter is assisting me today. Okay, that's, I'm trying to kind of go just over the white part. There we go. Last one. Okay. So first we need to spray it. I like to use gloss golden archival varnish um, because it's an ink chip Print, print with water-based uh, inks on matte paper and the coating that we're going to put on after which we can color it with oils uh, might mess up actually it has happened to me before will mess up uh, the inkjet print it will start to um, what do you call it flow bleed bleed so we need to uh, varnish it first before we can put the coating on and I recommend doing this outside because this is stinky stuff. Which is why I'm standing back here. Just a couple of times. That should be good. So now we need to let this dry and then we come back and put the coating on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this piece is dry now. Actually, I sprayed it two times more. Um, just to prevent the bleeding maybe the first time was a failure well uh, uh, let's, let's let's show it here look this is the first one we did and you see how it got much more blurrier looking still we like this image katie does too because it kind of looks like an old pinhole camera photo now so i still want to keep this and do something with this anyway but for this purpose we're going to use glass glazing liquid, acrylic medium, a little bit, and put that on the photo with a two inch brush, flat brush. And we just carefully put it on. And then hopefully this one doesn't bleed. Smooth it out a little bit, trying to get a bit of a little bit of the brush strokes. I mean, it's not bad if if they're there. Okay. 
Okay. So now we let this dry and then we can color it. So the coating is also dry now and in order to mimic Marshall Photo Oils as closely as possible, I'm going to use liquid and pesto and mix that with the uh, various oil colors, oil paint, regular oil paint. So I like to use Windsor and Newton oil color. So we'll take a little bit of that liquid and pesto. You don't need very much, it's probably too much already. And some cerulean blue. So we're going to do the sky. So this makes the oil a little bit more transparent and it still has a little uh, it still has that nice pasty feel to it like regular liquid is much more fluid but the impasto has that regular oil oil feel and in order to do this also as similar as possible compared to Marshall photo oils I'm also going to use uh, cotton rounds to add the color to the sky first. So first we just add color by just grossly putting it on. We don't care about going over the lines and also we don't care about brush strokes at this point. That's good and then we take a clean cotton round and we're going to smooth it out and make it a little lighter. So we'll move some paint. I just find that the easiest way to work. If I want a light colored surface, I, I don't try to put it on light, I, I remove it later. I feel I have more control over it that way. So I'm just dabbing. You can see the color comes off. That looks good. And then we take some Q-tips, you know, one Q-tip in this case. And this is what's nice about having that coating. It easily removes, just like with Marshall Photo Oils. You can easily remove the paint here because we have the coating. So this is the part that wouldn't work if you work on regular matte paper. The oil would not come off. It would have soaked into the paper.
So now let's do burnt sienna for the buildings. Again, we take some impasto. Try to use a little less now. Burn sienna. Clean my knife. New cotton round, pick up some paint. So again, putting it roughly on. don't care where I go over the lines yet. I have to stay away though from this edge because I don't want to go in the sky anymore. Here too. For the edges, I'll, I'll use a Q-tip to add the color. There we go. <coughs> Let's remove it from the bike. And the pants. See how easily it comes off. Now, if you, you can use regular oils undiluted directly on here too however it doesn't remove that easily even with the coating it's just a combination of coating and pasta liquid that allows you to very easily remove this paint just as with martial photo oils go let's leave this untouched but add color to the bike again some impasto I'm going with very little some cadmium red Clean my knife. I 
and that we go and that we will do with a Q tip. So in this case, I think we can go a little stronger. We want this bike to stand out. And making dabbing motions. You can see I have a little bit of a jagged edge here, but we're going to fix that later. Pretty good. Oh, there's one more tube here. Okay, so now let's fix up that edge a little bit. So with the clean side of the cotton mount, uh, sorry, Q-tip, Okay, we're just going to remove that. There you go. Maybe clean up here a little bit. And that's it. So it's pretty fast. Pretty small photo. It's only ten and a half by seven inches. But it turned out pretty nice. Here we go. Hand colored photo on an inkjet print, coated with acrylic medium, and then colored with a mix of regular oil paint and liquid and pasto, which gives you a very similar look as with Marshall photo oils and same techniques as, as with Marshall photo oils. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.